grade four, module one, lesson two homework. Number one, as you did during the lesson, label and represent the product or quotient by drawing disks on the place value chart. So A, we have 10 times 4 thousands equals blank thousands equals what? So let's start by labeling our place value chart. I'm gonna start all the way to the right with the ones place. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions. So what we have is ten times four thousands. So let's start with four thousands. So we have four thousands and we're going to multiply those by ten. So if I multiply that by ten, I'm going to have 40 of these. So each one of these, a group of 10 thousands is e equal to 10,000, which makes sense, right? 10 groups of a thousand is 10,000. That and the hundred thousand and hundred million is where the uh, name really makes sense, right? So here, 40 thousands is what we have here. 40 thousands is equal to four ten thousands. And four ten thousands is really 40,000. So now we have 4,000s divided by 10. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with my labeling my place values. Hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions. We have four thousands. Let's start by converting those to one hundreds because we're dividing. So we're going to be moving to the right, making it smaller. But let's just start by converting thousands to hundreds. So each thousand, so one thousand is equal to ten hundreds. So I'm going to get 40, I'm going to draw 40 hundreds. Okay, there's our 40 hundreds. Now we need to take this and divide it by 10. So if I separate it into 10 equal groups, one group of that right here is four hundreds. So 40 thousands divided by 10 is equal to one, two, three, is equal to four hundreds. Or what we did first was we started with 40 hundreds divided by 10 and got four hundreds in the end, or 400. So 4,000 divided by 10 is 400. Number two, 
Solve for each expression by writing the solution in unit form and in standard form. So here we have 10 times 3 tens. So 10 times 3 is 30. So this would be 30 tens in unit form. In standard form, that means just writing the number. 30 tens, 30 groups of 10 is 300. 5 hundreds times 10 would be 5 times 10 is 50 hundreds. 50 hundreds is equal to 5,000. 9 ten thousands divided by 10. So if we take 10 thousands and divide it by 10, we're moving, if we look up here on our place value chart, we're moving one place on our place value chart to thousands. So that would be equal to 9 thousands or 9,000. And 10 times 7,000 is 70 thousands or 70,000. Number three, solve for each expression by writing the solution in unit form and in standard form. We have the expression 2 tens and 1 1 times 10. So we're just we're multiplying it by 10, which means this place value is just going to get multiplied by 10. So two tens, if we multiply tens by 10, we get hundreds. So we have two hundreds. And if we multiply ones by 10, we get tens. So two hundreds and one ten would be two hundred ten. Five hundreds, five tens times ten. So we're going to make do hundreds times ten makes it five thousands. Tens times ten makes that hundreds. So we have five thousand five hundred. Two thousand seven tens. Now it's divided by ten. So now we're making it one place value smaller. So one place value smaller than thousands is hundreds. One place value smaller than tens is ones. So we have two hundreds and seven ones, or two hundred seven. Four ten thousands, eight hundreds, again it's divided, so we're making it one place value smaller. One place value smaller than ten thousands is thousands. And eight hundreds would be tens. So we have four thousands, eight tens. Four thousand, nothing in the hundreds place, eight in the tens place, nothing in the ones place. Four thousand eighty. Number four. Emily collected nine hundred fifty dollars selling Girl Scout cookies all day Saturday. Emily's troop collected ten times as much as she did. How much money did Emily's troop raise? So let's show this using a place value chart, but instead of drawing the discs, this time I'm just going to write the numbers. So let's draw our place value chart. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands and millions and she collects nine hundred fifty dollars selling Girl Scout cookies so I'm gonna put in here nine hundred fifty in their correct spots in the place value chart Emily's troop collects ten times as much as she did so we're multiplying nine hundred fifty times ten meaning each digit is going to move one place to the left in the place value chart because it's getting one place value bigger. We're multiplying by 10. So I'm going to move the 9 here, the 5 here, the 0 here, and then just add another 0 as a placeholder. So we can say that her she collected $9,500. So 
Emily's troop raised $9,500. Part B. On Saturday, Emily made 10 times as much as on Monday. How much money did Emily collect on Monday? So on Saturday, remember she made $950 on Saturday. And she made that day she made 10 times as much as she did on Monday. So meaning this was 10 times greater than Monday. Or in other words, Monday was 10 times less than Saturday. So let's do our place value chart again. So she had $950 on Saturday, and on Monday she made 10 times less than that. So this time we're going to be shifting everything one place value smaller. And remember there's a decimal point at the end of the ones place, or we can just say that she made $95 on Monday. 